Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the comprehensive Nintendo 64 raised image test. 303 ROMs tested with the MuPin Glide emulator. What I'm gonna do here is tell you what was wrong with it and I'm either gonna give it a yellow, meaning it's not really playable, but maybe you can play it if you really want to, or there's something wrong with it that doesn't make it a green. Green being it's totally playable, it's worth playing on this um, system and then red being it's all bad it's not even worth messing with some of the reds you may get to work with a different emulator or overclocking but that's all experimental things the point of this video was stock you know how, how's the performance here so if you want to get a little more advanced you could try different emulators as well as overclocking which may improve the performance of some of, the, of these games so the first one is GoldenEye. It gets a yellow, heavy slowdown on some levels. It's playable, but it's just really, it gets really laggy when there's a lot of things on screen, as well as you can see through the walls or things are missing occasionally with the graphics. The same thing happens with this game, but a way less slowdown, but this one still has a lot of graphic glitches. 1080 got a, got a red. It was horrible. You can't see certain things on the screen. Uh, audio glitches. It's, it's not playable, red. Arrow Fighters Assault got a yes, very playable. Arrow Gauge got a green, very playable, fun game. I actually have a, you can see a, a preview of that in my uh, the video I posted before this. Aiden Chronicles, the first mage, got a green, very good. And on Retro, on the GitHub, they said um, game slows down and glitches, but I didn't have that issue. Next game, Air Border 64. This game I gave a green, it works. Uh, if you enable the rumble pack though, I had some issues where it just, it just got stuck on rumbling. And uh, it wouldn't stop rumbling until I loaded a different game. I went back into the track and loaded it. But the actual gameplay seems to run well and it's not too laggy. All Star Tennis. Works. Uh, Yeah, see to me, I, I gave this a red. Way too laggy, where if you look at the GitHub, they said it works flawlessly. So maybe in a different emulator it'll work, but it didn't, it was way too laggy for me, I gave it a red. Um, all three of these all-star baseball games, I gave a red, red. two of them didn't even load, and uh, one loads and then it crashes. Project Swarm runs great. I have no issues. You can again see a preview of that in another video of mine. The uh, Army Men, this could get, all three of them, get a little laggy if there's a lot of things going on in gameplay, but they're all playable. They all get a three. Asteroids you can play, but it's kind of an old school game. Like it would, it would really suck if it did not run because it's such, graphically it's not very intense. Lamborghini uh, runs great. If you want a good racing game option, play Lamborghini. Banjo. So the original plays good. The um, Tui does not play well. I wrote uh, lows, but graphics are way off. Yeah, I was missing things on screen. It was not looking very good. But uh, on and on theirs, they say it runs too slowly. So we're in agreement there. Bass Hunter. This one actually did do well. There's some glitching, like you can see in the preview here, where like you'll get like a black thing on screen, but it's totally playable. This game was not even on the GitHub list, so it just shows that the GitHub list is not complete. And this game actually runs really well. You want a little side scroller, you know, uh, well, it's kind of 3D, but it kind of goes through the side, but uh, it runs really well and uh, it's very responsive. Battle Tanks runs great. But the sequel crashes, so you can't play the sequel. Battle Zone. Next up, Battle Zone Rise of Black Dogs. Runs fine, definitely playable. Beetle Adventure Racing. Uh, a little laggy in the menus, but once you're playing the racing game, it actually runs really well, so another good racing game. Big Mountain 2000 runs great. Bio Freaks, I wrote, um, it gets a bit slow at times, but it's playable, so I gave it a yellow probably would do better with an overclock. Last Corpse runs great, no issues. Blues Brothers, really laggy in the menus and in the story, but once you actually take control, it runs well. Body Harvest, uh, runs laggy, I gave this a yellow, so maybe overclock would help it a bit. 
Bomberman 64, uh, I get I get a blue screen, it crashes on me, does not work. The second attack, I gave it a green, runs well. Hero, I gave it a green, runs well. Bottom of the nine, runs well. So here's a baseball game for you if you want to play baseball. Bowling, nope, I could not get it to load. So red. Buck Bumble runs really well, kind of a weird game, but uh, it runs. Bugs Live, we're green on that. Bust a move one and two, totally good. A little laggy in the menus, but good once you get in there. California Speed, uh, they say it freezes your system. I was playing it just fine, so runs good. Carmageddon, a little laggy in the menus, runs good. Castlevania and Castlevania The Legacy of Darkness, both run good. Tennis, I have, runs good. This game, you load it, and then it, set, it asks you for a, um, a, uh, a, a controller pack that's malfunctioning, so you cannot get past that screen. Maybe you can, but I gave it a red. The sequel um, doesn't work, does not load. Sorry, maybe try a different emulator. Charlie Blast Territory, yep, runs good. Chopper Attack. Laggy into the gameplay, but once you're in the laggy in the menus, but once you're in the gameplay, it actually runs okay. I gave both clay fighters a yellow. I mean, they, they'll run. You can get into the game, but it can be a tad laggy. If you really like the game, maybe you can play it, but not. You, you either need to overclock or uh, it's not fast enough. Fan Conquer works great, but the controls are atrocious. Do not recommend. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, this gets a yellow. It really needs to overclock or some extra speed. It's laggy. Cruising Exotica. So, um, they say it plays well on the GitHub. My, well, I could not get it to play at all. So, nope, I'm getting a red. Same with Cruising USA. But Cruising the World actually got a green. So if you want a one, you can do cru Cruising the World. Cyber Tiger, I gave it a green. It's definitely playable. Dark Rift. It boots and then it crashes, so nope, red. Deadly Arts, a little laggy at first, but playable. Destruction Derby 64. I gave uh, major slowdowns on all plugins unplayable, I agree with GitHub there. Totally playable, Diddy Kong Racing, highly recommended, goes great. Uh, Quackers, nope, freezes system, I agree with GitHub on that. Donkey Kong, plays great. It's got a huge uh, intro video though, so get ready to go through that for a long time. Dune, yep, runs good. Whoops, went too far there. Dr. Mario. 64. Okay, we're moving down this list. Visuals way off, unplayable. Yeah, you can't really see them drop, the pills drop, so it's unplayable. Dual heroes. Slow at first, but playable. Duck Dodgers. Uh, mine runs, in, runs fine. GitHub says it freezes it in the game, but mine was running really good. Duke Nukem Zero Hour and Duke Nukem 64 both run great. ECW Revolution, Hardcore Revolution, green, runs great. Earthworm Jim 3D runs really well. What do we got next? Elmo, right? Both Elmo games run great. Excite Bike 24, I give it a yellow. It's way too laggy. Maybe you can overclock it to be better, but to me, it's a yellow. You need to mess around with it to get it worthwhile. Extreme G, very playable. Extreme G2, very playable. Another racing game option that's a lot of fun. Uh, both the Formula One games run really well. F-Zero X runs really well. Another good racing game. F1 Pole Position. Uh, this game runs really well, but to me the graphics are awful. I mean, this is like playing a Super Nintendo game. So as much as it runs great, it's nothing. The other F0, F1 games are way better graphically. F1 Championship. Uh, visuals way off and uh, unplayable. So not good. Cannot play that one. FIFAs. Now, most of the FIFAs did not work, so... Uh, 99, I gave it a yellow. 98, 
I gave it a red. So red was totally red, 99 was yellow, and 64 was a yellow. It runs but laggy. It's kind of playable if you have to play a FIFA game. It'd be FIFA 64 probably, or 99. I hope you liked this first part. Please click on part two where we continue the Fs and we move on down the list of games. If you could please like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. If you're interested in this image, there's some details below. And we'll see you guys next time.